Okay. <laughs> he gave up. He couldn't take it. Oh yeah. Ugh. Oh, that was a good win. This makes sense. It actually makes sense. This is a really cool idea because you can generate the cards that are not in deck or hand that don't have ephemeral. That's a very cool idea. I'm not, even, I'm not even kidding, that's a very cool idea. That's very cool. I like that. Let me keep Fey Aid, because it buffs Yui. This is kind of nice as well. Encroaching Shadows early can be good. Okay. Alright, we just need to find Yumi. That's pretty strong. Discount? Wait, what do you mean discount? I just pass here. I don't even think I play Otter. What am I discounting? The Fey? Why would I discount this Fey? That's horrible. It'll just die. Oh, you mean play the discount? Of course. I mean, it's, it's not even a question. It's not even a question. Well, I could have played this first, actually. Well, oh, I, I messed up. I messed up. I could have played this first and buffed it. All right, where's my where's my Yumi? Fresh catch. <laughs> really was fresh. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, give me the value! I want to see you kill this. I want to see you kill this. Good luck. Ramp. Go ahead, do your worst. It doesn't, doesn't that work? It doesn't work. Rip. It doesn't work in, on the Yumi on board, unfortunately. I can throw away the prank. He has Ruination. No, he doesn't. He might have the ice thing, right? I guess, no, it's a play effect. I guess this guy. I could generate another one of those portals with this. I could generate a portal with this. Still a pretty good hit. He kind of needs to ruinate. Well, he can't, he, he needs to like use his nine cost card. Need a blocker for that. He 100% doesn't have the 9 mana cost party because he would have never done this if he did. Nothing I can do about that, but I can go wide. I can't prevent that. I can still replay Yumi though. I can't play Swole Squirrel Chat because I need to uh, open attack with Yumi on a unit. So I need um, I need to play this as well. That means I'll have three mana. I, 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 it has to be picks. It has to be picks. I know she's two, but I'm playing this as well. 
That's the issue. Oh wait, I messed up. I might have- actually no, I didn't throw. It's fine. I'm not even gonna play Yumi here. I'm gonna play Sapling. This is the right play. This is 100% correct. I'm pretty sure this is the right play. I wanna play Double Hungry Alcat with Sapling Toss. Come on! Not my streamer. Elusivo? I gotta take the hits. Not my streamer, why not? Wait, why, why not your streamer? This is so weird. It is kind of weird, yeah. I agree. There's no puff caps, I know. But it's still four damage to face. No! Devoted Council? I can't play Devoted Council. We lost. We're dead. We're dead. Give me something good. I, I hate discarding this, but this is my only chance to win. I need something amazing here. Is Trevor even good? Is this correct? Like, is this the play? Kill Tito with Challenger? I don't know, dude. I don't know if this is right or not. I don't know. We'll try our best. Challenger Teemo, why? What's the difference? I die next turn. What does it matter who I challenger? Chat, these are getting blocked anyway. Easy! <laughs> we win, chat, we did it! He had no answers. No frostbite. Told you. How? Trevor. Trevor, chat. Trevor's MVP. That was, that was a good game, I gotta admit. That was a pretty fun game. It's a cool idea. It definitely is. Are you main decking the three cost Fey? I wonder if it's even worth the main deck it. I don't know. That's an issue, but you have I guess you have elusive for that. I don't know why we're running Flame Splitter. I feel like Flame Splitter doesn't fit. You really hold five mana cost card. I think I do because I have Fey 8 to buff it even more. Like my idea was um to buff both of these because they're both phase with this. And then this gives plus three plus three, right? I feel like this into this is very strong. Well, not... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good, I think. That's a bit annoying. I wish that wasn't the case. But whatever. It's still giving good buffs. Like, I, I, I think Flame Splitter is the worst card here. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I just don't see how it can be good. It's a nice one. Tasty Faithful looks really good. It can keep me alive for a very long time. He's Mask Mother. Mask Mother is a cool idea. Wow. Why, wait, why doesn't why doesn't the deck have Mask Mother? It's a very good point. Yo, Rodini, why don't you have Mask Mother in this deck? You can like cut encroaching. That's true. It makes encroaching kind of bad. It's, an awesome day for progress. it's so good. It, it is pretty good, I agree. Um Alright. So you gotta keep in mind he can just deal three damage randomly to a unit if he wants to. Check Swim's deck. He has a video up. Want me to get the code for you? Um, do I want you to get the code for me? No, it's fine. I'm good. Islander is amazing. Yeah, Islander is pretty good in this deck. It's a shame he can't attach multiple units to the same unit. Yo, Moonsaber, you're taking way too long, dude. Why are you taking so long to play the game? Come on, dude. There's no need for that. 9-7 gets Frostbitten. Well, yeah, but he's... I gotta waste his Frostbites anyway, right? This is a very easy pass. Because I just want to... I, I don't want him to pop one damage on this. So I'm just going to let him play this if he wants. If he doesn't want to play it, well, then he just burns a really good card. I think this is an easy uh, Tasty Faithful, honestly. Looks like I'm ready. I think we're just going to trade. Because that has regen. I don't want to deal with regen. Right? So, yeah. Easy 6 damage to face. Fantastic. G good turn. Good turn overall. This is a very strong card, actually. Um, Rainbow Fish is sick here, though. Hungry Alcat into Rainbow Fish might be the sickest play, though. Um, that's 
6 damage, and uh, it has Spell Shield, which is absolutely nuts. It can do a double Flame Splitter into damage. And you can't really do much of... Oh, wow. Wow! That is what I call value. That's what I like to see. You got this? Hopefully. Hopefully I do. Elusive 6-4 is insane. I wish I had one more mana to play Papercraft. I'm gonna play Vandal into... That's that's 13 damage. Double Elusive. Let's see what he does in response. Reduce the Paper Go Wider. I was thinking about it, but I give him a chance to play a 1-drop, right? One drops are quite annoying. It's a lot of damage. Down to four. He can Mystic Shot this if he wants. Mystic Shot does suck. I can't kill him this turn, but I'm gonna do as much damage as I can possibly do this turn. Flame Splitter OP. I don't know about that. Out of nowhere, yeah. You should have played that before playing Tavern Keeper, I think. How's the nose? Recovering. It's feeling a lot better. Um, I mean, this is lethal next turn. So is uh, Hungry Owl Cat into the 3 drop as well. Alright. Obviously, we never block with this or do anything with this crazy. This could be a really good card. This can give me the give myself um spell shield or anything else if I wanted to do it. I think I should be safe at 11 HP. They're both two high quality units to really throw away. Probably prank. Prank to see what he has in hand. Uh, let's pop this down first of all. Let's see what he can get. He is not expecting this to be a lethal card yet, so he's he's really looking to kill Hungry Alcat this turn. He's getting rid of Papercraft Dragon, doesn't matter. I don't need it. This is a great card for him to play for me, because um, it doesn't do anything to defend, and it messes him up majorly. So get rid of this 5 cost. Well, oh, that would be so sick if I could play, but I can't. I can't play Encroaching Shadows here. I need, to, I need to develop Papercraft Dragon if I want to do well. All right, we're good. Um, we're good here. We have double double lethal on board. He needs to have uh, harsh winds plus three cost freeze. I think. I think that's what he needs to have. What if if paper craft is ephemeral? How would it interact and attach? It doesn't give the ephemerals. Thankfully, that's the entire point of this. We'll open with prank instead of using it now. See what we get. That's kind of sick, I gotta say. So, here's the funny thing. He can't play his 9 cost card here. Let me see what he has in his hand. But he can do this. He can make one of his... Uh... You have open lethal. There are ways he can stop my open lethal. No, I don't have spell shield or anything. You have two impact. I actually think this is correct. I don't see how he can how, how he can um, punish this. I don't think this is punishable. I think this is actually the better play. I think, yeah, there, there are more ways he can stop two than three, in my opinion, because this doesn't do enough. I wish I had one more mana to get Spell Shield in this as well. That would have been sick, but... Awesome Alright, GG. Harsh Winds and stuff like that. Like, Harsh Winds onto both of these, and if he has something to... I don't know what he could have. So, he could have Harsh Winds and the three cost freeze to stop me, for example. That would, that would beat me. I would lose to that. Harsh Winds and three cost freeze. Harsh Winds plus three sisters would beat me as well. Yeah, there, yeah there's, there's ways to beat two of my cards, for sure. Close to 1k? True, true. Wait, are we? Let's review. Yo! 
Hey, nobody leave until we get 1k viewers. We will hold strong. You finished all the ring, I did not know. We will hold strong and become 1k viewer Andes again. Don't leave me. Ziggs Talia. Uh, manifest, manifest. Those are pretty good manifests. I'm going to... I, this is an aggro deck, so I kind of want to have uh, some value. Let's pop this on this. Probably on Rainbow Fish. Sure is dark, eh? I've never tried to get People left chat. People left when they heard that. They're like, I'm out of here. I'm out. They bailed on us! Wait, what is that? What this gives me first of all. That's a nice card. It's a very nice card. I'm a fan of that. Okay. We have a great board right now. Our board is actually fantastic. He has no good attacks. Like, that's his only attack. He can't even attack with a 3-1. Poor guy. And we want to develop this. Grandfather Fey here is sickeningly good. It's a little bit awkward to play Rainbow Fish. I'm just going to drop this dude down. Beautiful. Grant him some value. Um, Yeah, I'll, I'll grant you a little bit of value. I'm down for this. It blocks a 3-3 Fantastic Click. He has no good attacks at all. Alright, pass. Now we go for Rainbow Fish value. We, go for, we even go for... If we find an Elusive, we win the game, right? Oh. Baby! That's the Gnar I've been looking for! Gnar into Paper Crab Dragon. Oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So this turn, we're going for Rainbow Fishes. We're going for Fishy on something. Fishy probably on, the, on this dude. He'll activate Gnar. Gnar's gonna laugh at his face, and Gnar's gonna go double attack win the game. It's fine. Oh, baby. Oh my lord! That's a nice card. Actually, you know Tasty Fifth Look might be better. I'm not even kidding, because this is an aggro deck and we might want to have some lifesteal. But Gleaming Lantern is too good to pass up, right? Like, it blocks the 3-3 three, three for free. It makes this cost zero. I can even play Gnar into Rainbow Fish, dude. How sick is that? I need to be able to have um, functional blockers. This goes to 4 HP is really good. Double block. He has no attack. He literally has no attack. He has no attacks. He can't attack with anything. I need to play Gnar this turn. I, want, I need to level Gnar as a win con. Fake Crab Dragon. We play Gnar now, obviously. Gnar levels. He might kill Gnar. It's a possibility. If Gnar dies, he dies. Oh! Beautiful! Oh, it's so good! Look at that! Look at that! Oh no! Wait, give me, give me, give me something that buffs my hand. Right now! That, that, that's just that's just as good. I can just replay Gnar. It's just as good. Oh no, dude! Okay, then. <laughs> he gave up! He couldn't take it! Oh yeah! Ugh. Oh, that was a good win. That was a spicy win. I don't type in chat much, but I have to let you know how awful your British accent is. Listen to me, Shunny. My British accent is excellent. <laughs> so good. 10 out of 10! You can't stop it! It cannot be defeated. Oh my goodness, I should be a voice actor. Splendid. <laughs>